Why is that? that? That's like a shocking thing to me. And I've noticed that as well. The most successful people have the least amount of things on their calendar. Here's what successful people have figured out. Number one, you can accomplish a lot in a very short amount of time. I want to tell you a story about Teddy Roosevelt, okay. my favorite president. There's a lot of great books written about him. My favorite might be The Bully Pulpit by Doris Kearns, Kearns Goodwin. Uh, so Teddy Roosevelt used to hold five-minute meetings. Now, I want you to think about a five-minute meeting and when in business you've ever scheduled a five-minute meeting. No one would ever do that. There would never be a five-minute meeting on your calendar. But the President of the United States used to put people in a line. He'd have them line up. He'd have them come in. And there'd be a clock. And when there's a five-minute clock counting down, you'd be shocked. The forcing function of time helps you accomplish so much. People get to the point right away. Decisions are made. You move on to the next thing. And so one day I was reading about TR doing this, and I was like, well, you know, if the POTUS can do this about matters of extraordinary national importance, I certainly in my company can do five minute meetings and learn about things that might be happening in our company and make decisions quickly because the decisions I'm making for a software company in no way are as important as the decisions that were made uh, in matters of national interest. So, uh, so I adopted these and we started a, a, a thing at Yex called Teddy Roosevelt meetings. Teddy Roosevelt meetings are an hour or two hours. People sign up for a five minute block. I might say travel to a London office. There might be a hundred people in the London office. I would meet with all hundred people in 500 minutes. Here's how a five minute meeting works. Person comes in, sits down. I'm really careful to not make eye contact with the person mm. when they're in the meeting. Cause I found that when you look down and take notes, people tell you more. So I'm, you know, taking notes and they, they begin to talk to me about what's going on. After 10 or 20 meetings, you get a really great sense of what's going on without doing these big 30 or 60 minute meetings and bringing a lot of people together. And so five minute meetings are an incredibly effective way to, uh, to really become effective and get to, to calendar zero. It's funny, the original inventors of short meeting times were lawyers. If you've ever looked at your legal bill, you'll note that lawyers bill you in six minute increments, one tenth of an hour. So they are clearly tracking their time and billing you in these little bits of, you know, six minute kind of meeting times. Um, so the other thing I've done is there's, it's funny, you know, each year when a lot of times when private equity buys a company, they, they take out the company and they try to take out all the costs. And so they have zero based budgeting, 3G capital is famous mm -hmm. for doing this. And so they cut out everything each year and then you have to rebuild your budget back up from zero. They do that for, for money. I think people should do that for their time. Mm -hmm. So constantly I look at my calendar and I just delete stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is like doing zero based time budgeting for your calendar. And one of the very first things to go on my calendar, and I figured this trick out a long time ago, there is an enormous focus in companies. And maybe you, Pomp, in your companies, do one-on-one -on -one sort of weekly check-ins with your staff. Like, we'll do half an hour with this person, half an hour with this person, once a week. And when you do that, you know, and I also like to have a pretty flat organization. So I might have in my company 15 or 20 direct reports. Now, if I spend an hour with every person every week, all of a sudden, literally half of your, you know, 40 hour traditional working week is eaten up by these one on one meetings. Also, one on one meetings slow people down. Mm -hmm. So if you and I have a calendar time on the block and I need to tell you something right now, I might say, you know, I have a meeting with Pomp tomorrow. I'm going to wait till tomorrow to give him this critical piece of information. Mm -hmm. So not only are you clogging your calendar up with one-on-one -on -one meetings, you're also actually slowing down information. So mm -hmm. a different paradigm and a better way is to say, let's have no one-on-one -on -one meetings with people, but instead let's talk to each other as necessary. So if I need to talk to you 
Like, I'm going to tell you, right? I'm going to come find you. And if you need to talk to me, my door is always open. Come find me. Let's talk ad hoc. Jeff Bezos does not do one-on-one meetings. He won't meet with people. He only will meet in small groups because he knows, number two, that in addition to slowing down information, one-on-one meetings that are recurring tend to become not work-focused and you begin to go into other places. I remember I was given this advice, always have one-on-one meetings with your direct reports. And I used to be sitting there and after like the third one, they tended to become kind of therapy sessions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like if you need therapy, like I'm not your guy, you know? (laughs) And a lot of times people walk in and I'd be like, how's it going? This isn't a one-on-one meeting with a team member. And they said, I'm doing great, fine. I'm like, are you sure? And they're like, well, I guess, I guess now that you mentioned it, I can think of some things that aren't going great. Mm -hmm. And there's just no reason to, to add that in, to slow people down to do this. So I, I clear out all recurring one-on-ones with people in addition to having five minute quick meetings. I think ad hoc is better than recurring recurring meetings. I don't know if you saw Shopify Mm -hmm. just last week, Toby, he tweets, you know, recurring meetings are a bug (laughs) and Shopify literally wiped all of their recurring meetings off the calendar. Now think about, I mean, how many employees does Shopify have? I'm guessing thousands, thousands, 10,000, let's say. How many meeting minutes do you think they saved from just wiping every single recurring meeting off the calendar? And it millions. It, and and their cost at Shopify is, you know, their their primary non-cogs cost has got to non-server cost has got to be people. Mm-hmm. So they just increase their productivity tremendously. Now some of that will come back, but you know, wiping calendars, wiping, you know, wiping your calendar clean, you'll never get to calendar zero. But I am a huge fan of trying to get to really, really short, crisp meetings. You can get done a lot when you have a little bit of time and time is the ultimate forcing function as, uh, as, as death, you know, looks upon us. 